Yo, what's up guys? Pia Andre is back. Alright, Assalamualaikum. Salam jatuh aku ucapkan kepada korang yang menonton channel Andre Brothers. Korang semua memang awesome! Yes, kita kembali lagi dengan kita punya video react guys Alhamdulillah, akhirnya uh, kita jumpa lagi And kita akan react lagi bersama-sama dengan video-video yang menakutkan daripada Nukes Top 5 Dan uh, last, last new video tu aku rasa biasa-biasa je guys Adakah kali ni kita akan dapat video yang menyeramkan? InsyaAllah dan harap-harap begitulah Bukan apa sebab kalau ada video yang menyeramkan kan seronok And then seronok lah bila kita tak tidur malam kan guys Okay Yes um, Adakah korang sihat? Kalau korang sihat Alhamdulillah aku pun sihat guys Syukur pada Allah And uh, Apa aku nak cakap? Um, yep uh, Aku rasa tanpa kita berlengahkan masa tanpa kita buang banyak masa aku rasa lebih baik kita straight forward kita react dengan kita punya video yang pertama untuk malam ni guys adakah korang dah bersedia dengan video kita kalau korang dah bersedia good pasal aku pun dah lama dah bersedia ni uh, in fact tak sabar nak start kita punya video react kita And kita start sekarang ok alright jom bismillahirrahmanirrahim YouTube ghost hunting team Twin Paranormal are invited to investigate the allegedly haunted Cutthroat Brewing Company in Markleyville, California. Originally built in 1862, the building has been through many changes over the last 158 years. The structure has served as a hotel, a bar, a restaurant, and for a time, even as a temporary doctor's office and morgue. Through the years, owners, employees, and visitors to the Cutthroat Brewing Company have frequently witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. They say that bottles and chairs in the bar sometimes just move on their own. Many have seen and heard the dark apparition of a woman wearing heels pacing back and forth in front of the windows on the second floor. And some have spotted the menacing figure of a man standing behind the restaurant's bar. Once, a grandmother brought her very young granddaughter along with her to visit a friend who worked at the cutthroat. When they reached the upper floor of the building, the toddler seemed to start playing with a child who just wasn't there, laughing and talking to this invisible child. The little girl kept calling out the name Sophie over and over while playing. The grandmother said that she didn't know anyone named Sophie, and she didn't know where the child could have even heard that name. Twin Paranormal Team Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick are staying at the Cutthroat Brewing Company overnight to try to capture some of the location's intense paranormal activity. They decide to place a ball at the top of the staircase to potentially trigger the spirit named, quote, Sophie, to play with it or move it. As soon as we got here, we wanted to do a quick little test. Um, I had mentioned to Wyatt that I wanted to put a ball at the top of the stairs just to see what would happen. And literally, we had to clip. <laughs> Did anybody hear that step right there? I had heard it say left, and then I heard like a, a footstep right here. Literally right here. The ball! The ball! The ball! Ooh. If you're thinking that the ball placed on the step's edge was just bound to fall anyway, well, it should be noted that Ryan did test to make sure that the ball wouldn't just fall over on its own. You you filmed us uh, stomping that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So they try the ball test again. We hear you upstairs. You 
Use your energy. Pick that ball. Or you can talk. No, no, no. Oh! Sorry. Dog. Everybody's going to make fun of me for that one. I'm sorry. It just really scared me because it caught me off guard. It really did. This time the ball bounces back down the steps as if on command. <laughs> <laughs> the team gathers guys. their courage and asks the spirits that haunt the Cutthroat Brewing Company some questions using a modified spirit box. They get some very strange answers, but what they don't know is that one of their stationary cameras captures something truly chilling. Who's here with us tonight? <laughs> towards the front of the building, one of our night vision cameras pointing towards the back door had picked up what looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building. If you look close, Guys, this man-like figure starts to form his body and then his head right after. Then he turns his head facing our direction before exiting out the back door. So, what do you think? Did the ghost of a child named Sophie roll the ball down the stairs? Could the strange figure be the spirit of the man people claim to have seen behind the bar? And if not, just who or what is this? Ooh, scary guys. Any you can watch the all new part two of the Cutthroat Brewing Company investigation over on the Twin Paranormal YouTube channel. The John Low. Okay guys, Twin Paranormal ni katanya dia adalah ghost hunter yang memang mencari hantu. Dan di tempat tu memang dah banyak sangat kejadian yang menakutkan dan kejadian aneh berlaku um, Bila dia letak je bola baseball tu kat situ Terus ada tindak balas dengan makhluk yang kita tak nampak tu Dan itu pada aku okey lagi Yang aku rasa menakutkan tu dia orang berjaya menangkap satu image Kau boleh nampak guys Kau korang boleh nampak kat situ um, Lembaga yang berbentuk lelaki guys Dia Nampak detail dia punya badan dia, kepala dia pusing dan bergerak, berjalan. Hei, itu menakutkan pada pendapat aku lah. Dan aku rasa mungkin video tadi real. Dan aku tak sure apa pendapat korang. Adakah korang bersependapatan dengan aku? Ataupun korang rasa itu adalah video yang diorang sengaja buat-buat. Um, tapi tak apa kita go next video. Kita ada lagi empat video untuk kita react. Murder House. In 2014, 82-year-old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66-year-old girlfriend Christine Lee and her daughter Lucy at his family home in Surrey, England. Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. The sudden, strange, and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the, quote, John Lowe murder house. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Together with YouTube ghost hunters proving demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy Whoa, that was Sophia. instant and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? The shocking spirit box reply seemed to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Could it be a card on the road? It's she just grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab it back. Video. 
No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, I swear I didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding... I didn't touch you? Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. Camera. And my other hand's in my pocket. It's in his pocket. Was nothing well, unless, back with. unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mist seems to rise up and away from her. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. You know, guys, I did my chum sweat into her ears. No, I didn't grab it that way. After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders channel, keen eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage that I've seen. Because being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, and then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched, well, it. All seems very hard to fake, but of course I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The hills have... Okay guys, uh, itu satu lagi uh, ghost hunter yang pergi ke rumah yang pernah berlaku satu pembunuhan di mana ada sepasang... Uh, kekasih yang lelaki ya, membunuh teman wanitanya yang berusia 66 tahun dan juga anak perempuannya dan dia orang percaya kat rumah tu masih dihantui oleh roh yang tak tenteram kata dia orang lah so dia orang pergi kat sana dia orang cuba nak membuktikan kat situ memang ada sesuatu yang menakutkan tapi basically bila aku tengok tadi um, pada aku it, uh, footage tu biasa je sebab apa perempuan tu claim ada um, benda sentuh belakang ni and then selepas tu bila dia cakap macam tu je kita nampak ada semacam satu bayangan cahaya putih yang keluar daripada badan perempuan tu so itu aku rasa biasa je kita go next video ok Buys. Amr from the popular YouTube channel Amr slash 3AMR travels to the site of several abandoned buildings in the middle of nowhere in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Amr believes that the site he's exploring has been used to perform occult rituals and is a place used by witches. As soon as he starts exploring, he begins to feel uncomfortable and with good reason. It seems like he's not alone. Video Pak Arab guys, ini mesti scary guys. Uh, uh, apa tu guys? Ini mesti kau nampak tak? Uh, aku dah berembang ni. Mata dia bercahaya Bismillah. tadi. Someone or something with glowing eyes seems to be staring at Amr from inside one of the buildings. When he runs over, no one there. He searches through the entire building but finds absolutely nothing. The figure with glowing eyes seems to have mysteriously disappeared without a sound. Amr continues on to one of the other creepy buildings, but he still feels like he's being watched. Nampak macam mata eh guys Dalam Dalam, dalam tingkap tu You know guys Oh ok Seriously Come fishing, 
كان زي علي بسم الله اللي كان هناك بنفس المكان اللي قبل شوي جا هنا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احس في احد هنا هذه فتحه قبل شوي جيت معها بسم الله بسم الله مش يتحرك بسم الله في صوت احد صوت احد يمشي في صوت احد يمشي في صوت احد يمشي والله يسمع صوت احد يمشي ما ادري هيا لي واشوف شيء يعكس النور شيء غريب مره خلنا نسمع شوي again a figure with glowing eyes seems to be staring at him this time from one of the windows of the building further away he can't believe his eyes and again he charges toward the building and again he finds nothing things now begin to take a darkly sinister turn as it seems the strange shadow figures are all around him. Bismillah. 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 Marhim. Bismillah. 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 Who's out here? Bismillah. Who's out here? Bismillah. Amr starts to hear terrifying sounds from all directions. He decides to just get out of there. So what do you think these bizarre dark figures could be? Is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Just around the corner. Okay guys, uh, yeah. dia biasa kalau video-video Pak Arak ni memang menakutkan guys. Yang itu uh, memang menakutkan kalau kau tanya aku. Cuma aku tak pasti adakah itu yang kita nampak tu. Sebab kita nampak objek um, macam manusia. Eh. Cuma mata dia tu bersinar sikit. Kalau ikut kan, kalau ikut logik kalau manusia betul, kita tak akan dapat nampak reflection mata tu sebab mata kita bukan macam mata kucing kan. Hmm. Atau mata anjing kadang-kadang atau mata harimau ke dia Bila dengan kamera atau dengan lampu dia akan Ada reflect kan To be honest agak menakutkan Cuma aku tak pasti adakah uh, Video tu dia betul-betul Real atau video tu dia fake Tapi kalau tengok Mamat tu dia nampak macam betul-betul takut Bila benda tu jadi Dan bila kau dengar lagi Lepas tu last kau Tadi ada dengar macam suara orang Uh, menjerit macam tu eh. Terus mamat tu dia terus jauh macam tu So aku tak sure ni video real atau video fake So korang yang decide Korang komen kat bawah aku nak tahu pendapat korang okay? Next video The YouTube channel Lego Papa TV Travels to the abandoned Letchworth Village Mental Asylum in New York The village consists of 130 buildings And served as an asylum for the physically and mentally disabled For over 100 years The institution was permanently closed down in 1996 after thousands of reports of patient abuse. The patients, most of them children, were found unclothed, unbathed, malnourished, and neglected. Hundreds of patients lost their lives at the Letchworth Asylum and were buried in nameless graves near the institution. Levy from Lego Papa TV is investigating the now abandoned Letchworth Asylum with his wife Kathy. When they get to the area that used to be the hospital morgue, Kathy sees something very strange in one of the doors. Wait. Oh, there's something cool over there. You saw something down there? Yes. I saw something step in the room. But it was fast. Wait, Chris. Hello? Oh, don't move. Look. Look. Standing up. Um, this there is. When you point to this way, I saw this. Yeah. I seen it like somebody was like this and one like this. Now, unfortunately, they didn't capture what she saw on camera. So, Levy decides to set up a static night vision camera to record the hallway where his wife saw the strange figure. Hours after he sets up the camera, he catches something downright chilling. What looks
looks to be the malformed apparition of a person seems to peek around the corner and then simply disappear back into the darkness. Could this be the spirit of one of the patients that passed away at the Letchworth Asylum? Ooh. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Rise. TikTok you. Okay guys, yang tu memang menakutkan jugaklah pada pendapat aku pasal uh, image yang kita nampak tu memang nampak raw gila kan dan tempat tu pun dipercayai adalah tempat uh, pusat jagaan orang mental lah yang dah uh, abandon lah so nampak menakutkan tapi aku tak 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 sure adakah itu video real atau video fake uh, pendapat korang tak apa korang komen kat bawah aku nak tahu ok kita go next video Joe Vrola is at home with his girlfriend when he hears something strange coming from somewhere in their apartment Since they have experienced unexplained activity in their home before, he takes out his camera and starts recording as he goes to check out the sound. It did not go well. What are you doing? I think I heard something. seems to rise up out of the chair <gasps> disappearing into nothing but Joe Guys. actually seems to be a bit more freaked out by the sudden appearance of his girlfriend what the Jesus Christ what? now what do you think this strange floating figure is is it a ghost or is it just some very good special effects work you decide in the shadows Reddit user A. Perez submitted this next video to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit. He claims the video was originally shared to Facebook by his niece, Jamie, who had recorded her children playfully jumping on her new bed. But when the video was posted, friends and family were very quick to point out that there was something very strange going on in the video that Jamie hadn't noticed at the time of the recording. When she reviewed the footage, she was shocked. Did you see it? Right before she ends the video while still distracted by her children, a shadow can be seen lurking in the bathroom, seemingly hiding behind the door. What makes this footage even more bizarre is that even though there's enough light to slightly illuminate the bathroom, the figure does not seem to have any facial features that catch the light. Even when the footage is brightened and enhanced, there are still no facial features or details visible in the bizarre shadow figure. Ooh, scary, so guys. is this creepy footage real or fake? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Twitter for video and channel updates. I'll see you next week. Alright guys, itu dia kita punya video-video yang menyeramkan untuk malam ni. Dan aku rasa uh, yang last tu memang menakutkan guys. Dia tengah ambil video anak-anak dia tengah melompat-lompat kat katil tiba-tiba guys waktu dia pan tu dia sendiri pun tak perasan tak sedar ada satu lembaga hitam yang tengah tengok dia daripada dalam toilet huh, yang tu menakutkan guys sebab kita tak tahu kalau ada benda yang tengah mematikan kita sekarang So yes, itu dia kita punya video untuk malam ni. Aku harap korang pun terhibur. Seperti mana aku pun terhibur juga. And, uh, still aku rasa ada video yang kita boleh consider menyeramkan untuk kali ni. Dan uh, untuk next video, um,
kita akan react lagi insyaAllah uh, video yang lebih menakutkan kalau kalau bukan video react mungkin video aku aku akan buat satu video yang lain sikit lah insyaAllah uh, tapi kalau tak pun kita akan buat react ni tengoklah mana yang aku senang kalau aku ada masa aku akan buat something yang lebih berbeza tapi kalau uh, masa aku memang ada cukup-cukup je aku akan buat lagi video-video react ni guys so yes untuk korang yang dah usha video ni yang dah tengok video ni daripada awal sampai habis guys aku respect kat korang aku appreciate korang punya masa thank you so much uh, aku hargai sangat apa yang korang luangkan untuk video uh, Andre Brothers dan yang mana yang baru uh, join, jangan lupa subscribe channel ni. Tekan sekali butang notification tu supaya korang tak tertinggal video-video baru yang aku akan upload nanti. So, ya aku rasa sampai dekat sini je lah. And kepada korang yang mana rasa malam tak boleh tidur, tak apa. Kau baca tiga cool, selesai masalah kau. Dan kalau kau tak boleh tidur juga, kau kira kambing. Sampai berapa banyak pun aku tak tahu. Sampailah kau boleh tidur. So, okay guys. Kita jumpa untuk next video kita uh, yang akan datang. Uh, untuk korang stay tune and stay safe. Okay. Jaga diri baik-baik. Okay. And, yeah. Sampai di sini saja guys. Kita jumpa next video. Right. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera kepada korang yang menonton channel Andre Brothers. Korang semua memang awesome. Good night.